In this video, we're going to look at the dget function in Google Sheets. This is a pretty dynamic lookup function, and one of the things I really like about it is it allows you to look up a record in a data set both left to right and right to left. So it is very dynamic in that sense over other functions like the VLOOKUP. There are a few rules that you have to follow when using this function. Uh, first, your lookup data set needs to have column headers and all of those column headers have to be unique. Another requirement is that your lookup value must be something that is unique within your data set. So if you try and return multiple matches for the same lookup item, you'll get an error message. You can't do that with this function. So we're going to begin by picking a random item from our inventory. And we're going to perform the dget lookup based on this lookup value here. So we're going to begin with the dget. First input is our database. That's our data set we want to look up in. So we might want to add new records later. So what I'm going to do is change the end of this range reference to just the column letter to make it infinite. So hit F4 to lock that down because we want this to stay fixed. The next input is the field we want to return. Now we could input the column number of the field, which what we want to return is the description here, or I could physically type in the word description, or I can use this cell reference here. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hit F4 two times to keep this row fixed, but the column relative when we drag this to the right. The final input is our criteria, our lookup criteria. Now, this is a little bit misleading. You would think this would be one single value or cell reference, but we also need to indicate the field name of the criteria we want to search on. So for a range reference, that's going to be these two fields here, or cell references, I should say because we need to give it both the field name and our criteria value. So I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. We'll hit enter and then drag this to the right. And you can see for this ID number, we get the description that is to the left of our lookup value and then the quantity and cost per unit, which is to the right. So it's pretty dynamic in that way. So what if we wanted to have more lookup values and drag this down? We couldn't currently because of this last argument here. We need to have both this header and then our additional lookup values, but they're not physically together on our little lookup table here. So I'm just going to grab a couple more IDs to look up and you can see it's still fixed on these criteria here. So what we need to do is add a set of curly brackets because curly brackets allow you to create arrays that aren't necessarily physically together on your spreadsheet. So rather than have a cell reference for the field name for our criteria, I'm just going to physically type in that name, inventory ID. We're going to add a semicolon because a semicolon within ranges in curly brackets says stack this one on top of the other. And then we have our cell reference here. So I'm going to hit F4 three times to lock that column but keep the row relative. And you can see now we have lookups that we can drag down and across. 
So another thing I like about this function is it's pretty easy to do a wildcard search. Um, that of course assumes that your wildcard value will not produce duplicates. So if we wanted to search on maybe the description this time for a partial match, maybe something that contains the word camera, I could put star and then camera. We can insert our function again. I'm gonna grab this data here. The field we wanna pull back is this field here. So I'm gonna hit F4 twice. And then our criteria is this range here. So we'll lock that down. And I just added the description again to get the full description. And then we'll drag this to the right and you can see based on this wild card, it pulls back the record that contains the word camera. So we could do this for, you know, items beginning with a certain word too. So we have deluxe. You can see that produces the information for Deluxe Printer. So in this final example, I want to show you a scenario where you might have a data set that doesn't have a single field that has a unique value, but two fields together make a unique lookup value. So you can see here we have a data set of year-to-date sales by region and division and none of these fields are unique by themselves but these two fields together are unique because each region has a unique division so what I also want to do is add drop-down list here so that we can look up the sales by region and division. So I'm gonna click in this cell here and go up to data, data validation. We're gonna use this first option list from a range. So I'm gonna click in this box here, select my range, click okay and save. So we have a region drop down list. Gonna do the same thing for division. Data validation, list from a range, click on this box here, select our range. Click save. So now we have two unique values here when they're joined together. So we're gonna insert the dget function. Our database is our first argument. The field we want to return is the sales field. Our criteria this time is actually going to be this range of two headers and two lookup values. And you can see for division two of the north region, we return the sales and if I change this you can see it adjusts automatically well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe